Howdy, howdy. So in today's video, we are going to change oil on a 2010 Chrysler Town & Country, our farm truck. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, just a disclaimer, I did not look up on YouTube how to do this prior. I'm a trained expert. And even if I were to look it up, I'm sure there's no red Town & Country. So um, this will be a first of its kind. Uh, one thing about this vehicle, it's at 115,000 miles, um, and it does burn a little bit of oil. I think the last oil change was 5,000 miles ago. Um, I could probably go a little bit longer because I just keep dumping new oil into it. So essentially it kind of changes itself. Um, but you don't cut corners. So uh, these are the things you're going to need. First, you will need an oil wrench an oil filter, oil, uh, oil catcher, uh, two car ramps, and a half a dozen beers. And you need two more things I forgot. Uh, you need a wrench. I don't know what size yet, but uh, I'm gonna figure that out. And then, you're gonna need some cardboard. Uh, this is Costco Kirkland diapers number five. It's good. It's extra long. So that's what I kind of like about it. So what I do is I fold it in half for extra cushion. So let's go take it for a drive, warm it up, and then uh, drive it up on these ramps. One of the important parts of driving it up on the ramps is you don't want to go too far. So don't go too far. catcher underneath the oil can and I think I'm gonna use a socket. Oh spew out. Hopefully this is the oil. And just like that, pretty easy. Ow! You don't want some rags too. So while that drains I want to talk about two things. Uh, I'm a big fan of Costco love Costco um, so I got two different oils here this is five quarts right here um, I get this at Napa for, on sale for 20 bucks full synthetic and Kirkland also has a full synthetic as well um, that you can order online I love Costco for this it was twenty dollars so four dollars a quart and then I think online it was like uh, I don't know, like two sixty or three bucks. Uh, it wasn't on sale. I think the on sale price is two sixty. But honestly, uh, I think it's I think it's the same. So um, I mean, if you don't go to Costco often, I won't buy a card to go get it. Um, but if you go to Costco, I don't know. I don't I don't see any issues with getting getting the oil there, unless someone else tells me wrong. But um, you know, it looks the same. It says it's the same. You know, it, it feels the same. It smells the same. So now that that's all done, we'll put it back in and tighten it down. Next is the oil filter. Right here, I'll get the oil filter wrench and yank on that and see if it, uh, if it comes off. I'm just gonna bring this oil catcher over here Oh, shoot. All right, got the oil uh, filter off. Now, let's take a look at the new filter. So I got this new filter here. Hopefully they are the same. Fill this guy up. Doesn't have to be all the way full. And then get some on, on this rubber part. Make a good seal. Gotta have a good seal. All right, let's put it on. Here's the part you don't want to screw up. You want to put the new filter on where the old filter was. I don't know how tight you want it. You'll probably have to watch a different YouTube video. But I'm gonna do hand tight and a little more. All right, so the filter's on. So now we just uh, fill up the engine. 
with oil. I got a new GoPro. It's not new. It's pretty old. But I got it from my buddy Garrett the Carrot. So thanks, Garrett the Carrot. We'll do a time lapse with it. See how it goes. And action. <laughs> So I don't know how many quarts actually go in this 3.8 liter V6. So I put I put four in. Yeah, I think I put four. Hopefully. Well, we're gonna roll it down off the ramps, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, take a look at it. Oh yeah. Probably just fill it up a little bit since it uh, likes to burn oil. We'll get her topped off. Other thing you don't want to forget is this oil cap. Uh, I am notorious for not putting the oil cap on. Um, this is my second oil cap in this van, and I've had it for 5,000 miles. So don't forget this piece. One other thing I like to do, instead of guessing every single time about quartz, now that I know it's roughly 4.5, I'm just going to write on right there. So next time I do an oil change, 5,000, 10,000 miles from now, I don't know, um, I'll, I'll know. So I actually don't know if this number is correct, but uh, that was my math. So don't, uh, don't take my word for it. Take a look at that second channel just in case, you know, I got it wrong. So now I'm just going to pick up and put this bad boy outside. Um, and then, um, yeah, pick up tomorrow. I got a little, little demonstration. I kind of want to show, uh, some of the people who have subscribed. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Morning. So it is tomorrow and, uh, nice sunny day. Here was, uh, the vehicle that I changed the oil on. The demonstration I wanted to show was why is this almost like a pickup truck. I know it's a minivan, but it is a pickup truck. I call it a pickup truck. My kids call it a pickup truck. My tax man has it suggested as a farm vehicle. I'm gonna tell you why this is equal or better value than a pickup truck. So, pay attention. First of all, you got clearance. Maybe not as much as a truck, but enough to go through some snow. Number two, is it can fit more than just six kids or six people all right you ready this is called a stow and go now let me show you okay and you're gonna want to pull this one and you're gonna want to pull this one boom seats headrests see that imagine you're in a light a little tight spot tight spot next to another car you're trying to get your kids out, out of their car seats, you're trying to get your dogs out, and you gotta swing open this door. No, with this, you just hit a button, and it opens, it closes, all right? That's, that's pretty freaking sweet. Oh, you wanna haul things other than people? Okay, yeah, we can do that. One, two, come on, three, boom, flatbed truck. So, now let me just paint a picture for you. You got this part, windshield, driver's seat, and then straight down, boom. That's a single cab. And then we got this part right here. That's a truck bed with a topper on it. You got side access, remote side access. You don't see that in 2010 trucks. Topper topper openers I mean look at look at the space that you got in there that is a truck it's just missing a hitch I might put a hitch on there you know to pull some uh, empty hay wagons all right yeah it doesn't have the horsepower to pull 
a lot of stuff, even if it did have a hitch. However, I'm a hay farmer. I need to pull hay wagons. I need to uh, put some tools in the back, just like a pickup truck. A lot cheaper though. All right, what are you doing? So my demonstration is, I'm gonna show you what I haul in my, uh, in my single cab topper pickup truck. Check it out. So there we have it. This is why a minivan is probably better than a truck. So take that Dan, take that Tanner. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.